Hi everyone! Today I'm making chicken breast and everything bagel rice in the Instant Pot. It's an easy meal to make any day of the week, but it's especially handy for meal prep when I have a busy week ahead. I'm starting with three large chicken breasts. These were about 12 ounces each for a total of just under two and a half pounds. I'll be using about two tablespoons of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning blend, but you can use anything you like, whether it's a store-bought or a homemade blend. When in doubt, good old salt and pepper will work just fine too. Season the chicken thoroughly on both sides with as little or as much seasoning as you like. I'm using my six quart duo on the highest saute setting. Add two tablespoons of olive oil when the display reads hot. Add the chicken top side down and sear in the hot oil for four to six minutes. This will depend on how large or thick your pieces are. We're not trying to cook them all the way through, just enough to get a nice crust on the outside. Now give it a flip and let the other side cook for another four to six minutes. These three pieces fit perfectly today, but depending on the size of your chicken, you may have to work in batches to avoid overcrowding the pot, which would steam your chicken rather than sear it. Now I need to add liquid to deglaze the pot. You can use chicken or vegetable broth or even just plain water. I'm going to use about one and three quarter cup of water mixed with two teaspoons of roasted chicken flavor better than bouillon. You can add them directly to the pot, but I find it easier to fully dissolve the bouillon in warm water first. Make sure you scrape up all the fond from the bottom of the pot. That's where all the flavor is, and if you leave some stuck on, you may risk the dreaded burn warning and your pot won't come to pressure. And now for just a couple of flavor enhancements. Two tablespoons rice vinegar, two tablespoons soy sauce, and that brings the total liquid to two cups, and now I'm finally ready to add in an equal amount of rice. Two cups of uncooked, rinsed jasmine rice. You can use any type of medium to long grain rice here. I just love jasmine and it's one that I always have in my pantry. I need a trivet with two inch legs to elevate my chicken. This is my double layer egg rack and I think the lower one will work perfectly for this. Place the chicken on the rack and don't forget to pour in all of the yummy juices that have collected in the pan. Give a quick little wipe down around the edges and then lock and seal the lid and cook for five minutes on manual high followed by a 10 minute natural pressure release. Then release any remaining pressure and open the lid again when the pin drops. Set the chicken aside to rest for a few minutes. The rice is perfect, but just to add something extra, here's the everything bagel seasoning that I've been using a lot lately. Three to four tablespoons, more or less to your own liking. Taste check. Add some salt, pepper, or more bagel seasoning if you need to. And now I'm checking the largest piece of chicken to make sure it's fully cooked and still juicy. Mmm, perfect! Serve this up with any veggies that you like. This arugula looked good at the store today and I love the peppery greens. Alright, that's all I got for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, the ingredients and instructions are written below in the description box. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment if you do. See you in the next video. Bye bye!